Warning, the stunts in this blog were performed by idiots, so let's keep it that way. My cat broke my laptop when she made it drop. It hit the concrete floor. My laptop was no more. It fell on its side. That's the reason it died. I got very sad. I was not glad. Now I got a new one. So I can't get blogs done to make you laugh on my behalf. Whoa! Whoa, I didn't see you there. Hi, I'm Jared, and that you were listening to was Dane, the Rappler. Right there is the song, and you can catch more of Dane, the Rapper if you keep watching this third episode of Jared's vlog show. And I would also like to dedicate this one to Cole Jones, because his cat Majora just passed away, and thanks for tuning in. That's right, folks. My cat broke my laptop. But hey, that kind of goes with the theme I was trying to do with animals. But the main purpose of this blog is to learn about Thane the Rapper. And since it's been so long since I interviewed Thane the Rapper, he now has a new project going on. He's with For the Birds out of Wichita, Kansas. So check out my blog and check out his new project. I'm gonna take this gym down these stairs. Just send it. I'm here with Thane from Wichita, rapper from Wichita, right? What's up, man? You're a rapper from Wichita? I am, yeah. Um, what kind of, like, how did you get started with the rapping game, like, and how did you come up with your name? Well, uh, my name is uh, Tyler Haynes, so uh, Thane is basically an acronym for my full government name. Um, you know, you just take T from Tyler and then H-A-I-N from Haynes, mash it together. Sweet. Uh, I've been basically, I mean, I've been writing poems uh, and that type of shit since I was a kid in uh, middle school. Um, and, uh, you know, it was just something I did the past time and just something that I kind of ended up liking doing. And then from that, it like kind of evolved into, you know, rapping and, you know, making music, freestyling. Um really just as a hobby and pastime so i'm just messing around in class when i should be working you know doing my homework stuff like that you know that's how, that's how it started Ouch. is that your full-time job or no i'm a, a logistics coordinator you know, right now, uh, I still work a full-time job. I'm a freight broker uh, at my trade. Uh, so I work Monday through Friday, you know, doing that. And then I've got some flexibility that allows me to, you know, kind of take time off as I need to. And, you know, I need to leave out of town to do a show or, That's good. you know, take some time off, stuff like that, you know. So do you make your own beats or you have a DJ for that? Uh, no, I've got a couple of different producers that I work with. I mean, uh, I guess you could say like I'm an executive producer. I'm not like a composer. I don't play instruments. Uh, but you know, in the recording programs, you know, I'm, I'm pretty involved with my my uh, head audio engineer, the guy that makes my music. Uh, I'm pretty involved with our you know the, the post recording process of 
uh, you know, just doing things to the to the track, you know, to, 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 you know, experimenting with different sounds and effects and things like that. Imagine with me, if you would, it's 98 degrees and rising outside. There's an old lady and her dog on their way to the store. The lady goes inside, leaving her dog in the car. She's shopping around. She gets in the register. She checks out. She gets back out to her car. Dog abuse. Animal abuse. That's a no, no, bro. So, um, was there any musical influence that got you started? Like any artist that you like? Or that, that any artist that you heard and you're like, dude, I want to try this rap game? Um, I mean, I remember, you know, starting off, obviously, when I was a kid, you know, 10, 11 years old, you know, Eminem was huge, obviously. Uh, I was big into, uh, you know, Tupac. I was big into a lot of, like, uh, um, early 90s and mid 90s, uh, you know, like, coastal stuff. I mean, I like, you know, obviously, I like Dr. Dre and Ice Cube and NWA, all that type of shit. But so, no, so like, no, 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 um, no, New York. That's a hip hop. That's just hip hop influence. No New York rappers you like? No, I like uh, you know like Wu Tang, obviously. You know, oh like, yeah, like Ghostface Killer. You I seen like, uh, you seen that show on on um, Hulu called um, Wu Tang? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I, I actually haven't caught like all the episodes, but I have. I'm pretty sure I've watched at least one. You know, it's pretty long. So. Yeah, it's a good. It's good. It's a good series. Yeah, I need to catch that. I need but, to actually watch. What were you saying about the hip hop side and? Oh, you know, as far as other influences, uh, you know, I've got a lot of rock influences too, you know, because I grew up in like a mixed household, a lot of like alternative grunge and like, uh, like even like 70s and 80s rock, you know, so, I mean, not like super like hardcore metal type of shit, you know, but, you know, Pantera and stuff like that, I mean, I can get down with it. Uh, Pantera's and, good. Thrash, thrash, you know, metal, like 80s, Metallica, you know, Megadeth, stuff like that, mm -hmm. but. I'm real. I'm real into like even to this day, still into like alternative and grunge. You know, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, uh, Chris Cornell from Soundgarden, and Lane Staley. Like they're they're two pretty heavy influences as far as uh, like just performing, you know, wise for people. So, and stuff. like the other day, I was totally climbing this tree, and poof, there was no tree. So what do you think about all these new rappers and their and their mumblings? I mean, I think there's an art to it. I think, uh, in a sense, like every there's like a, some kind of an artistic expression, you know, for people's music. So at, at first, you know, I'll admit, four or five years ago, I wasn't as open to it as I am now. But now I just let people kind of do their own thing, you know, because yeah. a lot of a lot of twenty year old kids, you know, look at me making my music like, you know, obviously he's twenty nine years old, you know, and I don't give a shit what he has to say. You know, so uh it's kind of a give and take, you know, relationship. I found I found some guys, you know, like uh Juice World, I was, you know, big into him. Um Juice World was, you know, was pretty sick. I mean, I like uh um, I like the uh, you know, X too, you know, uh Extension, like uh, uh he he died as well. Um, then you have, uh, you know, uh, Lil Uzi Vert just dropped a new project. I mean, those are some new new age guys. Mm -hmm. uh, YBM Corday is another new age guy that I, you know, fuck with. So, I mean, I'm selective with the, the new age stuff. I don't like just blanket like it all. But there is some dope stuff. You know, there's some dope stuff coming out of this new age. Well. I still ain't got no sleep. I just can't close my eyes until my town know me. Hey, when the sun rise, I still ain't left these streets. The only thing in front of me, that's my own two feet. Hey, when the sun rise, it's still the same old me. But if I don't become the predator, they prey on me. So if the sun rise, then we just make believe that you play a different drum and not the same old beat. I step outside with my eyes squinted. Never mind the dark circles that I'm hiding. Tell these haters, mind, mind your business. If he lied and find a witness, if you're riding or against it, I can find my time and rhymes that blurs reality with fiction. It's demented. It's demented. Shit, maybe it's lack of sleep, but I'm posted up at the crib and supposed to be counting. Let's just ask the, the, the question. Um, are you more 
because of the feud? I know it's probably like over now, but Eminem, or are you a Machine Gun Kelly fan? Um, I feel like Machine Gun Kelly did justice to his disses, you know, overall. But I like, I mean, as far as who I'm a, more of a fan of, who has more playability, you know, who I'm just a general fan of in life, uh, Eminem. Uh, I feel like he's obviously much more decorated and accomplished, you know, as a musician uh, than Machine Gun. Machine Gun Kelly is dope for what he does. I've seen him in concert, you know, and everything. I've uh, seen him like three times. Yeah, I was like, he's dope. I mean, I won't take anything away from him, you know, as a, as a musician. Not even just as an MC, because he's a dope rapper. But he also, you know, he's just a, he does other things, he plays guitar, he's a vocalist, you know, so I think he plays the drums as well, he's an actor, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Uh, kitty in the video. <laughs> okay, so, that's cool. Um, so, you got any big projects coming up in the future? Yeah, uh, I mean, right now, I mean, I don't know if you follow much of the Wichita scene, but I'm with uh, a three music. Uh, I'm with Victory Music Entertainment. We're a label here in town, but we're also a st- we're also a recording studio open to the public uh, over here off, over off South Seneca. Um, so we've got you know we've got a live studio. It's a it's a really it's a really nice quality, you know, great looking studio. Professional engineers working in there. You know we got in house producers, uh, f- photographer, and videographer. So we're trying to you know keep everything in house and really do something. Uh, you know I just recently sh- I shot a couple of videos. Um, do you know who Krim Della is? Krim Della Krim? No. Well, he's, a, he's a rapper based out of Kansas. Uh, he just did a feature with Ritz. You should check that out. Uh, it's a dope It's a dope feature they just put out. Um, but he lives in Cali now. He lives in L.A. But he used to live, you know, he used to live in Wichita. You know, it's a guy I've collaborated with and, you know, I kind of grew with, you know, in the scene, doing shows with, stuff like that. Uh, but he's really starting to make it for himself and become like a national touring act. You know, he's starting to get his recognition after doing this, you know, for many years, just as long as I have. And uh, I, I remixed a, a video. He has a song with Scott Storch, who's a really well-known producer. Uh, he has a song called Personal with him. Uh, well, he had a contest for rappers to remix that song to win a chance to basically basically open up for him at Wave, the venue here in, in Wichita. Yeah, that's so cool. That's a cool venue. So, yeah, yeah. so we were going to do a show there. You know, like we were, I was, I, well, I hoped that I was going to win, but I was, pretty confident that I was going to be chosen, you know, as one of the people to win the contest. So I, you know, I do have a video out that I just put out like last week or the week before on YouTube and Facebook. Do you uh, care, you care if I show that on my blog? No, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a Thane personal remix and it's a, originally by Krim Della, but it's like a, it's like a remix of it. And it okay. Like maybe you can um, drop me some links of some yeah, I can stuff because yeah, I'm going to want to um, put in the description um, links to whatever you want me to put, like to your Spotify and whatever you give me. Gotcha, gotcha. Because you're yeah, probably gonna um, need that. You're probably gonna want people to. If you, if you got merch or anything, you want people to buy or look at. Yeah, and I got I got merch as well. I don't have an online store set up yet, so I am just doing drop shipping. Like people can PayPal me or Cash App me or Zelle transfer me yeah. money, Facebook me money, and I'll just you know I I, I ship them the stuff that way. Or you know, in person they can you know they can pick it up you know in the in the Wichita, most of the Wichita area. Uh, but I do have hats and uh, like the one I'm wearing, um, I have hats like this one. What does that I'm mean? A, What's I I D L E three? It's uh it's well see, it's my first project was Idle Mind, and it's kind of like a theme that I've had with my project. Like everyone talks about idle, you know, like an idle mind being the devil's playground or being you know. Not wanting to sit in one place, you know, basically if you're idle, you're not moving with your life, whether it's, you know, physical or, you know, literal, you know, whatever, you're not moving, you're sitting idle. Yeah. You know, so basically, idle just became kind of like the, uh, like the protagonist for my, uh, you know, for the theme of my, you know, my very first project when it came out. And it was basically just me fighting, like, inner demons and, like, fighting, like, not wanting to be idle, not wanting to be sitting still, you know, wanting get my music moving forward and get the recognition for it. So that was my first, you know, that was my first project. Uh, you know, that came out in, I think, 2016 is when we released that. It's on all platforms. Uh, it's Idle Mind. Uh, and then followed that up in 2018 with King Idol, which is, you know, basically a second installment to that, you know, which is basically like I kind of like made the Idol, you know, realm, Kind of like my kingdom, you know, basically. Like, I've kind of, like, owned it, you know, and kind of, like, flipped it on itself. Yeah. It became the king. It became the king. Uh, so, like, 
a great project. Obviously, there's 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 multiple music videos on that, you know, on uh, YouTube and on Facebook for that project. Uh, Road Trip is out there as well as a music video. As an, uh, there's Beeswax. Uh, dumb shit is a, is a track that's on that. It also has a music video, and I've got think about a couple that I'm not thinking of right now that are also that I've also got some videos for on there. Uh, and there's a few music videos from Idle Mind as well. But I'm trying to step up my visual game a little bit, get some more videos out there for people because that's what people seem to like a little bit more. I mean, we're in a digital age, but visually, like people just like to see something when they're listening these days. It seems like. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say. Uh, I've actually got a couple of videos that I, I hope to drop in the next couple of weeks just because everyone's, you know, I know everyone's stuck inside right now. So, uh, you I don't know. I want to be you doing some stuff. home videos or what? No, it's just, uh, mm-hmm. I've got a guy just, uh, you know, um, I mean, I'm social distancing and everything, but I've got a guy that we're going to, you know, we'll probably, he'll probably come to my house and we'll probably just, I have, you know, I've got a basement that's got like a real, it's unfinished, mm-hmm. so it's just concrete, you know? Yeah. So we might we might just come over and shoot a video in my basement. Is he gonna be so, ha- is he gonna be all hazmatted up or what? No, I mean I, I haven't been taking it that seriously, but uh, <laughs> you know you never know. I was gonna I'm trying to get my uh, laptop laying here. I was gonna that on, but it's giving me some issues. Um, you can't do you can't just spit like a freestyle about the coronavirus for the. For I, the, I mean, for the fans. I'm, I'm more of a writer, man. Uh, I understand. To be honest, I mean I can freestyle, but it's just not you know. Uh, I like to kind of like do something memorable to people, kind of like uh, really flex my ability. And I'm, I don't feel like I'm good enough at freestyling to showcase that. Yeah, that's, like, that's I won't fist up for you, though. I'll fist up my guitar because I can't get my uh, – I don't think I'm going to be able to get my – well, let me try Let me try one more thing. Well, before you, before you do that, I have another question I was wondering yeah. about as – have you ever opened for any big-name bands or – Anything yeah. like that? I mean, it's not bands, but rappers. Yeah, bands and rappers, man. I've, uh, I've, you know, uh, DJ Sid from Slipknot, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so me and I did a show with, uh, with Sid Wilson uh, of Slipknot uh, in Denver. Uh, me and him and a couple of like Denver, you know, acts or whatever. Dope. Uh, yeah, that was a, a sick show. Slipknot is one fan, one band I'd like to see. Live. Yeah, I, yeah, I've seen them as a fan. You know, when I was. 16 years old you know so like it was a huge opportunity for me obviously to be able to do that super excited i saw some flyers and ticket stubs you know somewhere from that i've also done uh turn of that games um i don't know if you know who that is yeah uh, yeah he came to slide and played okay yeah i've opened for turn of that james all gold everything right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah he played in the slide yeah i've opened for uh, uh mac lethal um uh, i've opened for the palmer squares uh, I've opened for Wax. Sweet. Uh, opened for UBI Sess Crew, Lance Skywalker. You were, I think, you were at that show. Yeah, I was. Uh, Lance Skywalker. Yeah, uh, the dude's different. Let's pull it up here. But hey, also, uh, can you tell me about the craziest gig experience you ever had? Craziest gig experience. Honestly, it's probably gonna be. Uh, <laughs> I know. I mean, I showed up to a gig one time. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna track the venue of who it was but i showed up i showed up to a gig one time and uh they didn't have like they had gotten their liquor license pulled the day that we showed up to play like so like it was a bar and it was 21 to enter but there was no liquor license so there was no liquor anywhere you know anywhere so we as you can imagine it was a tough sell to get people in there you know because we couldn't open it up to younger people because it was at a bar and they had, there was no liquor, so the older people didn't want to come. Yeah, uh, that's I, I, played couple, I played some rough rooms. Uh, let's see. I, you know, uh, I, here in Wichita, I played some rough, you know, some rough times too. Here just recently uh, at uh, Valentine's Day, the PA system just completely, you know, cut off. Our, our, the, the system that was playing our music cut off in the middle of our you know, performance. So I just had to completely, you know, go you know, go through a whole strong song a cappella, you know, just finish the song off a cappella, you know, basically until they fixed it. Figured yeah. It out. I was, so. uh, I saw, um, uh, who's that one guy? Um, Yellow Wolf, Yellow Wolf, okay. and Salina. And yeah, the same thing kind of happened. And once they turned it back on, he just started freestyling about the speakers going out. <laughs> and then he got back into his song, um, the one, um, off the trunk. That's tight, dude. They got the beat back going up, and he's like, 
pretty sorry about the speakers going out. That's pretty sorry. I mean, like, Yellow Wolf is a guy I'd like to, I would like to see. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I, I think I'm able to pull something up if you, if you want me to, you know, spit something for you. Yeah, Yellow Wolf, one last thing. Yeah, Yellow Wolf is different. Like, I like his shit because it's different. Yeah, Yellow Wolf's tight, man. Uh, I've always I've liked it and appreciated his music. And, uh, you know, Ritz, too, for that matter. Ritz kind of came up with Yellow Wolf, it seems like, where they, they're acquainted with one another. You know, so... Uh, sweet? I think... Uh, huh? I said sweet? Yeah, it's American, I think, is the name of their side label. Yeah, yeah, his shit's different. He plays the guitar too. It's cool. Struggle Jennings too. Give me one second. I'm gonna turn this on. Okay. Okay, and then I'll have you spit. Can you hear that? Kind of. All right. I just need to hear the beat. Be able to hear the beat. Yeah. All right, this song's called Dumb Shit. I'm not going to do the hook because you can already hear the hook in the background, kind of. Uh, I have the instrumentals of my songs, but I have no way to really play them right now with my TV, unfortunately. So I'm just pulling this up through YouTube. So yeah. here we go. Fuck wasting time. I'm making lines and coasting through life with my eyes on the prize. It's been a while since I've recorded. Tip through two thoughts. I write down what's important. They call me sick. Maybe I'm morbid. Way that I kill the stage. Every performance. Never good for me. I'm moving forward. Keep us my circle. Keep just cutting corners. Always my new shit. It's never borderline. We catch your flame every time I record a line. I raise the bar. I set the stand. The crabs in the bucket. No oceans of cans. It's time to demand. The chainers can't stand it. This is the room from the seeds they planted. This is the sweat. This is the fear. This is the floor that I'll see from my peers. It's rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. To every can seize. That's all that I see. I'll keep it track. And I'm taking no. Y'all better hope that I don't expose. I'm getting sick, and this is the medicine. That little voice in my head, I'ma let it in every second. I'm working with better, but they couldn't put it to sleep to set it. Y'all like the better, but y'all like the wettest. Just stop it, get edited. Never regret it, and keep it competitive. Been on the rise, they headed to bed. With it breaking my stride, the chances are very slim. Don't have step, giving a dollar, and answer to my last breath. But against the wild, and I'ma slash next. I'm dumb, motherfuckers got fast legs for that. Yeah. So, uh, that's just a verse off of one of my tracks. Uh, I can keep going. You know, if you want to that's good. Right. That's good. That's a good line. Right. Yeah, thank you. I think that's good. No problem. No problem. And just, turn it off. For and time. remember, everybody, check down in the um, description for links to his stuff. His YouTube, or not YouTube, but his Spotify and whatever else. What else yeah, are you going to give me? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I'm gonna hook you. I'm gonna link it up. I'm gonna hook you up with all the links. Okay, yeah, just just check out all the links, then, everybody, and support my man Bane. He's over here trying to do his thing. And the last question I ask everybody: How is the coronavirus? Did I ask you that? How is it affecting your your life right now as an artist? Well, um, as an artist, it's affected me. Um, I just invested in. You know, uh, a lot of merch, uh, you know, hoodies, hats, shirts, uh, stickers, a new project, some music videos, uh, uh, basically a whole, you know, uh, campaign, you know, of all this shit that I was about to, you know, like my new year of music that I was fixing to unleash on everybody. But now it's kind of like, I, I kind of want to wait, you know, I kind of want to uh, like see how it plays out because uh, I just want to make sure everybody really gets to enjoy and appreciate this project. Uh, but as far as shows, man, I mean, I was supposed to do May 31st. We were, I was with me and Sir Charles. Uh, he's he's we, uh, we got a show at the Cotillion with uh, Tech Nine, King ISO, and Jelly Roll. Dang. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that they don't cancel that. You know what, what I mean? What day? Like, May 31st. They're probably going to cancel that. Or, or reschedule it. They might, yeah, they might reschedule it. Uh, you know, but there's been a few. There's been a few. I, I was working on that. Uh, you said. You said May 31st? Yeah, May 31st. Okay, well, if they still have the show on, everybody, you can check them out. May 31st, Tech 9 show. Now, what else were you going to say? Oh, no, you're fine. Uh, I, I, just, I mean, I have other shows. Uh, there was a band called Keeper um, out, of, out of Wichita. Um, they're fixing to release their debut AP, uh, EP. And it was supposed to come out April 24th. And I was going to open for them down at Brickyard downtown. Um, 
but I, I'm pretty sure that's going to end up being canceled as well. So I mean, just back to like everything that's affecting us because of coronavirus. Uh, there's, it's, it's canceled numerous shows, you know, and it's kind of halted my production on release, not releasing music, but just, uh, I need to reapproach my strategy on what I'm going to do during this time, you know, cause I definitely want to get some music out there. Yeah. Well, thank you for the interview. And hey, everything. No problem. No problem. I uh, hope you guys have a great day out there and uh, look, look me up. It's an official fan on Instagram and uh, official fan pretty much anywhere. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.